Well, peace, light, and love, everyone. Welcome to the I Serve Realness Show for Blessed Broadcast. Um, a little bit about myself, if you haven't known already, my name is Tarina Butler, and I am the sole creator of I Serve Realness. Um, I'm a free and spirited, empowered, empowered individual who just wants to spread love and teach people how to, and teach and govern people how to love on themselves in such a positive way. It orchestrates and, and teaches them new ways on how to love on other people so thank you for tuning in i am here to spread peace light love harmony and um i do all of this by serving realness point blank and simple so thank you for allowing me into your space thank you for allowing me to uh just talk to you for a little bit and hopefully inspire you and and push you towards uh making your dreams become reality and, and just aiding you into a better life mentally emotionally physically spiritually today i wanted to focus on how we govern ourselves on a daily basis my last uh video on youtube i went to a buddhist monastery for the first time it was a buddhist temple um i had a lot of mixed reviews ongoing and i was very hesitant but overall i did gain a lot of positive insight i gained knowledge on what it was what the entire theory was about because i have come to learn that it's not a religion it is a practice it's a scientific practice of the mind i wanted to talk today in terms of what i got from it and how it can orchestrate you into living a more healthier and well-balanced mental life i know as human beings we typically have a, a tendency to just be on cruise control on autopilot we're just going 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 every day we wake up we get dressed we go to work or we go to church or we go we take care of our kids or you know we take care of our partners our husbands our wives we you know go about our day we hang out with our friends and we come back home and or we go to school we come back home and we take a shower we get back in the bed and we start it all over and over and over again right so that is what I call or what I'm referring to in terms of cruise control in terms of being on autopilot on autopilot when you're just steady going 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 and you don't take a minute for self-awareness or it's hard for you to come into reality for you to step out of your reality to take a mental break and see and do a mental check of what's going on with you internally mentally personally uh, I learned that you know it's good to take 15 minutes out or just some time out of the day to just be quiet, to be still, to, to literally shut your mind down. And it's like a form of meditation, but you literally just stop taking yourself off cruise control and you find out what's going on. Do, do an inside check. What's going on with me inside? What's going on with me mentally? Am I in a good mood? Am I in an iffy mood? Am I not in a good mood? Am I in a, a, a bad mood? Am I sad? Am I angry? Am I whatever the case may be? You do a mental check within yourself to see what's going on. I recently did that. So if you know me personally, my birthday is coming up. I am turning the big 3-0 big 30 and it's exciting but it's also nerve-wracking too to say the least i have um, i'm preparing to go on a trip i have been going through so many things emotionally within my personal life with between family and friends and work and just basically on cruise control <laughs> and basically on autopilot and just going through it without taking a break to pause and to keep on moving forward right so today i wanted to talk about and to discuss um what your expectations are when you wake up in the morning are you expecting to have a good day are you expecting favor in your life are you expecting you know to be taught something new are you expecting good things and great things to happen to you are, are you expecting to do great things and to do good things and to enlighten and to spread love with other people are those your expectations do you have any expectations or are you just on cruise control and just taking things as they come day by day like you know just going with the flow you no know, are you expecting to have a bad day are you expecting that you know today's not going to be a good day or oh my gosh i have to go to work today oh my gosh i have to go to school oh my gosh i have to see this person oh my gosh like i just i can't deal i personally that's what i've been doing for the past week i've had my great days i've had my not so great days and I just had to check in with myself like, well, maybe it starts because of my expectations or lack thereof. I wasn't getting up in the morning and saying, okay, good morning world, good morning God, and saying, you know what, today is going to be a great day. I often like to affirm it's always a great day to have a great day. And I noticed that I wasn't even saying that. That is something that I say on a daily basis if you keep up with me on social media. You know that on my Snapchat, on my Instagram, wherever I am on social media, the first thing I do is I say, good morning, it's a great day to have a great day. But I say it as a mood booster, not just for the people that I'm 
saying it too, but for myself, it's a, it's a reminder to myself for me to know that today is going to be a good day. Who wants to have a bad day? Who wants to live in turmoil? Who wants to be emotionally or physically exhausted? That's not something that is common to want. Like you don't want to be in, in desperation. You don't want to be depressed or you shouldn't at least. So I noticed that I hadn't been affirming to myself that it was going to be a great day and I wasn't having the best of days. I was looking at things and how people orchestrated their lives and for whatever God-given reason, it was bothering me. And I just felt like the world was on my shoulders. I felt fine physically in the sense of I was still doing my mile day challenges. I was still, you know, getting up and working out. I was still going to work. I was still hanging out. I was still doing, you know, basic things that I do in cruise control anyway because my body's just naturally used to being on autopilot and doing these things. But internally, I just felt so heavy and instead of affirming saying okay snap up out of it you're gonna have a great day it's okay it may not be perfect but it's going to get better it's you know you're you're moving forward it's, it's working for your good this is just a little obstacle that you ran into i was just literally not doing anything i was just going through it and and, and being on cruise control in misery and so i woke up yesterday and i was like no it's a great day to have a great day like i have so much to be thankful for you know i can't allow what people have done to me or said to me or said about me or how I've even acted poorly in the past to affect my future. I literally have to snap out of it. And I often like to affirm that it's a great day to have a, a great day for a reason because that set that sets the precedence that you know what, no matter what I come in contact with, no matter what happens to me or happens for me or whatever, no matter, no matter what happens to me, it's always happening for me. It's always working out for my good. It's always for a reason there's a purpose behind it make sure that you, you did an inventory check within yourself it's important that we remind ourselves not just how great we are but it's about making sure you have a clear and set expectation for how you will live your life day by day we can plan for years and that's great we can plan for months it's good to have you know plans and strategies and all that other stuff but how we move forward literally how we've gotten by in life up until this moment is by putting one foot instead of the in front of the other one foot in front of the other you are literally taking one step at a time and that's how you're governing your life now in which way you choose to do it is completely up to you but i if i could offer anything have an affirmation for yourself on a daily basis my affirmation of which i can offer to you as well is that you know when i wake up this morning i open up my eyes i am i say open up in gratitude and say thank you for whatever it is my life is I, I thank you for where i'm at and all that other good stuff but i have an affirmation i say to myself it's a good day to have a good day it's a great day to have a great day so let's have a great day i am ready to let go of yesterday so that i can be filled with today i am ready to be happy i am ready to reach another level of happiness that i, I never thought I'd, I'd seen before i'm ready to learn new things i'm ready to meet new people i'm ready to do new things i'm ready to broaden my horizons now i don't know about you but i'm someone who is constantly on the move like i said before i have a job i have a brand that i'm trying to get up off the ground i am literally always thinking i'm literally always opening myself to meeting new people and new things and introduction and and reading new books I'm able to be open enough I'm able to be comfortable in my brokenness in order to be made whole but I find my happy from and it doesn't necessarily mean that every day is a great day it doesn't mean that I don't run into obstacles it doesn't mean that my mood is always chipper a hundred percent of the time it doesn't mean that I'm not human it just means that no matter what happens to me I have the strength to get through it and to get and to overcome it so that I can get the lesson from it so that I can literally look forward to tomorrow so that I can literally even in looking forward to tomorrow appreciate my now and appreciate my today and I think that bringing it all back to full circle that when you take those couple of minutes out of the day just to be quiet and to close your mind and to be still and to literally try to stop thinking about everything that you have going on in the world it allows you to do that it allows you to appreciate your your moment and allows you to be grateful for what it is that you have and not constantly focused on what it is that you want um not to lose sight of that it pushes you to want to be better it pushes you to love on yourself that in fact is a way of loving on yourself and of course we love on ourselves in such a way that we're able to love on others and spread love and spread light i wasn't pushing positive vibes out there i was literally just in cruise control i was literally just doing what i knew that i i should have been doing getting up getting ready going to work 
doing schoolwork, uh, focusing on ISR, coming home, taking a bath or taking a shower, going to sleep, getting up, doing the same thing over. And in the, in the midst of that, dealing with the troubles and the obstacles that were coming my way, I thought by me reacting to it that I was dealing with it when instead it wasn't so much as dealing with it, it was legit just being faced with crap and not operating out of a, a positive place where I knew that I could do and how I knew I could do it. Cause I wasn't setting my foundation. I wasn't affirming to myself that it was a great day. That's not what I was doing. Thank goodness for awareness. You know, like <laughs> you have to have those moments. So I encourage you to get you some expectations if you don't have any. And I can offer you by starting to say to yourself, I am worthy of a great life. I am worthy of love. I am worthy of peace. I am worthy of serenity. I deserve the best possible life that I could have. I know that my core being is pure, is magical, is great, it's nothing but great intentions. I have the ability to love myself. I have the ability to love others. I know that I may not be in the perfect place right now, or the perfect space right now, but it's coming to me. I'm expecting favor. I'm expecting open doors for me, the right open doors. I'm expecting to be introduced to the right people. I am expecting to have the dream career of my life. I'm expecting to, you know, put great things out there to my family I'm expecting to create a beautiful family I'm expecting to just give so much love into the world and to receive that back I these are the things that I'm expecting and I know they will come true and the more you say it I always tell you guys is the more you say it the more you think it the more you believe it the more it actually happens that's what we have to do we have to literally think it feel it see it believe it and know it and, and bring it into fruition bring it into past like things that we want we have to keep our mindset on that. And that was what today's goal about, today's talk was about. Basically, having that little piece of the puzzle that helps you fit the overall picture of your life. And that is to have some expectations, have great expectations for yourself. Know that you are worthy. Know that you can do whatever it is that you need and that you want to do. And just do not stop thinking it. Do not stop feeling it. Do not stop believing it. Get up every morning and let the first thing you do set your expectations and say your expectations stink breath and all wake up turn around on the bed i don't care if you have a loved one or not listen i am today is going to be a great day i'm going to have a great day today oh my gosh i'm going to have the best day ever oh my gosh i'm going to find love today oh my gosh love is going to find me today i'm traveling somewhere i'm learning something new that's going to help and aid me into becoming the person that i'm ultimately meant to be that is what you say to yourself. That is what you do to yourself. That is how you aid yourself in becoming the best person ever. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you haven't done so already, follow me on all across the board social media. I am on Twitter at I Serve Realness, Facebook at I Serve Realness, Instagram at I Serve Realness, Snapchat as I Serve Realness. It's just I Serve Realness across the board. And I really do appreciate you. But before we get, before we leave, for those who are here for the Blessed Broadcast show, of I Serve Realness, do me a favor and head over to your app and literally just rate Bless Broadcast. Leave your honest opinion and feedback about it. I have come to know the creator of the app. It's, he's such an amazing, inspiring person. And I know that your feedback, no matter what the case may be, he will value it and he would be greatly appreciative for it. So thank you so much for allowing me to show up into your world today. Thank you for allowing me to come into your space and just speak to you and love on you. And I look forward to speaking with you next time. Peace, light, and love.